Hi, I'm Clara. Glad back on Friday. Today we are going to start the new tutorials of TubePro. It's a professional control system for laser tube cutting from Frenis Electronic Technology Corporation. If you need the demo software, manual, and other systems, please click the link in the description. You will get more there. The language in TubePro cannot be changed like what in SEPCAD. So when we install TubePro at first, there is an option to choose language. If after the installation we find the language is not what we expect, we can change it at the Machine Configure tool, Advanced Language tab, we can find the choices. As we start up the software, we can choose user or administrator. There is difference between them. When we choose user, some parameters we cannot change, like some in global setting. If we get into administrator, we can say it will allow us to adjust. So please choose the corresponding mode as needed. Our introduction will follow the way as SEPCAD. First, the top column, left column, layer parameters, and then red column. About will show us the basic information of the system, license, and computer configuration. Backup enables us to save a parameter's backup in the computer. Click the backup, name it, and we can save it. Let's find the backup package. Double click it, we can get the prompt box. We can choose the parameters we want it covered up, and then click Recover. We can say it's completed. A suggestion here is better to make the backup regularly and copy the backup to another position, like a flash driver or other computers. We cannot draw a new file in TubePro. It's different from SEPCAD. So the ways to make files are import an external one. Or we can make a test one here. Return origin. When we click it, we'll get this operation interface. It's the same as all return origin at the drop down menu. Here we can see Z and XX will get to origin and its order. Return origin setting. We can set the enabled X to return origin. Y return origin holders down first will avoid the Y, X, and holders collision. B or Y return origin, check chalk status. It will check whether there is PAP in chalks and avoid any damage. And if we take it, there will be display to show the chalk status. Let's take them all and check the operation interface again. We can see it gets more information and chalk's condition is showing here. We can ignore origin alarm here if we don't want it currently. Capacitance calibration is similar to SEPCAD, making sure there is mental tube under the cutting head. Keeping the tube surface is relatively horizontal. 
moving the nozzle two or three millimeter from the mental surface, and clicking calibration. Calibrate BX sensor. It asks standard tube without chamfers because the chamfers will mislead the calibration result. The basic steps to make the calibration is moving the mental tube under the cutting head. Keeping the tube surface is relatively horizontal. Clicking calibrate BX center, inputting the tube size, and clicking start. It will begin calibration. After the calibration, we need to save it. Attention here! Before calibrate BX center, it asks accurate X, Z, and B coordinates. So please make them return origin before B calibration. Let's explain more here. Spot offset in X direction means the laser spot error we should input here. The software measures the center of the BX based on the nozzle center. If the laser spot is not at the center of the nozzle, there is a certain deviation in the cat perforation. Please divide the deviation by two and fill in the spot offset. But we just check the reasons why there is a spot offset first. If you need the method to check whether the laser beam is at the very center of nozzle, please click the video up here. Normally, we don't need make calibrate BX center often under standard operation if there is no machine error or accident.